So I have uh, two Angora goats uh, from a previous time in my life when I was a spinner and a weaver. And Angora goats provide you with mohair. And uh, they get trimmed twice a year. That was a miracle. And that is Finny, her daughter, who's enjoying her goat tex breakfast. They have beautiful fiber, one of the finest fibers in the world. But they don't take well to being trimmed when it's still cold out. And Finny's an older goat, or sorry, Miracle's an older goat, and she has a blanket that she wears. And this is their hut, which is very warm, but if we keep getting the snow and the cold temperatures, she won't be comfortable. So that's why Rob is building a pen inside the donkey barn, so that we can move them in after they're trimmed and build some walls with straw and lots of straw bedding, and then they hunker down. And that'll keep them under, out of the wind. If we have to, we can hang a heat lamp. And it, it's only for a few weeks, and then hopefully spring arrives. The warmer night temperatures come, and then they can come back out into this pen, which also gives the staff a chance to clean up all the straw and hay that's been here over the winter. But that's, there's ice underneath all this, so it uh, it's just a challenge right now. It's part of spring. Everybody has it. Everybody will be out raking their lawns now and whatnot. That's how we get our shavings. There's a company that packs these all up. Uh, the shavings are everything but cedar, mostly pine shavings. And uh, those bags are waterproof, so we buy them about 16 at a time. And they get hauled here and then they get stacked either here or they go right into the barn and they get stacked on pallets and what that does is allows the bags not to be sitting on the ground 